Oh, well, right now, Tampa is pretty much wide open in terms of business and things to do. There are no mandatory closing times or capacity limits. There is a mandatory mask mandate for all indoor spaces. And just like here in Kansas City, uh, you must be seated at all times when in a bar or restaurant and wear a mask unless actively eating or drinking. The state of Florida in general has a lot more community spread of COVID-19 than we do locally. The latest recorded single day data is from three days ago and Florida recorded more than 8600 cases. Missouri has a rolling seven day average of about 1300 new cases a day. Looking at Tampa specifically, the county it's in, Hillsborough County, has recorded 1,250 COVID deaths since the beginning of the pandemic in all of the Kansas City metro. So Johnson and Wyandotte counties, plus Kansas City, Missouri, and Jackson, Clay, and Platte counties, we've had 1,597 deaths. That's what we do! The city of Tampa and the NFL are confident they can keep festivities safe, though. The entertainment districts in Tampa and all the NFL zones will have a mask mandate even when outdoors. The actual game will only have 24,700 fans, a little more than a third of the capacity of 66,000. And many of the events we typically see surrounding the Super Bowl won't happen. We are going to enjoy this event. We're going to ensure that the entire community gets to enjoy it. We're working on some some possibilities for that to happen with the NFL right now so that we can allow our residents to participate and to do it uh, safely. So. So coming up at six o'clock here from some Chiefs fans who will be heading to Tampa. They have some advice for anyone who is still thinking about maybe heading down. That's coming up at six o'clock reporting live at Union Station. Les Laggy led KCTV 5 News and KCTV.